travelingmail.com. Hey, hey, welcome to Great Falls, Montana. We're not quite there, but we're going to be there soon. And we are going to Great Falls, also known as the Electric City, um, to see a lot of different things. It's really cool with all the history and the natural resources around the Great Falls. Lewis and Clark came through there and had a portage over five different waterfalls, which are all dams now. But um, And there's some great state parks in the area. We're at Sluice Boxes Canyon right now. There are museums, there are mermaids, there are riverside trails. So much to see in Great Falls, and I'm glad you can come along with us. I wish I knew. When you are in Great Falls, one of the things you're going to want to do is visit one of Montana's state parks. There's something like 50 plus in the state and a few great ones right near Great Falls. We are at the First Peoples Buffalo Jump right now and this is a cool historic cultural park. There's also uh, giant springs right in the city of Great Falls on the river, which is another gorgeous spot. And um, Sluice Boxes State Park just uh, outside of Great Falls on the other side with this beautiful canyon and fishing and hiking and all this stuff. So make sure you fit some state park visits into your trip to Great Falls. The morning's near and still I can tell you how I feel Just another lonely day to get Great Falls has so many good museums that you have to make it to at least a few of them. The area is famous for C.M. Russell, the cowboy poet, but there are a lot of other wonderful artists here too. So we're gonna start out at the Paris Museum of Fine Art. That's not the actual name, but it's pretty close. Um, there's a great history museum, and then there's the C.M. Russell Museum. There's an interpretive center for Lewis and Clark stuff. All kinds of great museums here. I'm trying. I wanna be right where you are. when you're in Great Falls is the Lewis and Clark National Historic Trail Interpretive Center. And uh, because Lewis and Clark came through here, there's all kinds of information about there in here about that. And um, 
It's also a cool spot because it's in Giant Springs State Park and the Roe River, the world's shortest, shortest river is here. Um, and there's a lot to do to walk around outside and it's right on the banks of the Missouri River so you get a real feeling for what it was like when Lewis and Clark made their way up here. And it is a uh, forest service building but you can use your National Park Pass, your America the Beautiful All Access Pass to get in here um, or you can just pay cash money. If you do nothing else while you're in Great Falls, you must come to the O'Hare Motor Inn to the Sip and Dip Bar and Lounge and see the mermaids. And if you are a under 21-er, you can be here until 8 or 9 o'clock at night so you can still get some food, have a sip, and watch them swim around. I'm so excited because I've been wanting to do this forever. So I got a um, canned buffalo, it says here, contains one furry buffalo, or fuzzy. Um, I got it for uh, my cousin, who's two years old. <laughs>